So one of the, I mean, what you basically described um, in this conversation about um, Doughboy is just this kind of transformation that you've been able to kind of be a witness to mm-hmm. um, as a pastor. You, you've been able to be a witness to this transformation. I'm really curious about what are the dynamics of a person changing and transforming um, and us being a witness to that. Mm-hmm. So par- part of it is is believing and this may sound strange, but by him believing me uh, begins uh, his process of believing in God as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, in that, uh, I may, in that case, was probably the closest person in his life that did believe in him, and he could reciprocate. And at the same time, um, as Martin Buber says, that it's between man and man that we meet mm-hmm. God, and where that transformation begins to happen. Um, I say to our young people uh, or to our youth leaders as they relate to young people, you need to get as close to them uh, so that there's opportunity for hurt and pain as any other authentic relationship. Don't avoid it. Because when you do so, there's also an opportunity that when you do hurt each other, to ask for forgiveness. When you do that, it's no longer a concept in the Bible, a theory, a theological theory, but it becomes real. And there's very few places in their lives in which they can ask for forgiveness and are forgiven by another human. And I think that begins the believing process, and particularly around uh, my friendship with Doughboy, because now he could see, here's a human that I can trust. Here's a man, flesh and blood like me, that believes in God and is not detached from real life on the ground. That a real human being that can understand my context and know that there are some things wrong with me, a lot of wrong things. And because the guilt weighs upon me and because Mm -hmm. the pain of that sin and the heaviness of it hurts me, here's someone who's bringing grace instead of condemnation, freedom instead of uh, captivity. And so I think um, I gave him in some ways a sense of hope and uh, belief in me and in some ways a path towards believing in God because of the, because of the context. I think what's so amazing is that um, when you talk about um, believing, it's, it's almost like a, a sense of value mm-hmm. um, that believing is, you say believing in uh, him, you believing in him, and then him believing in God, but it also seems like this kind of witness of, of him being is a, also a way for him to believe in himself. Yes. In his, in his, in his own value, and you being a witness to, to this process of him being, but then there's also this process of um, becoming. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is, is well, just you need, yeah, mm-hmm. you need the believing in order to, be, to do the becoming, right? Because it takes a lot to believe that you're more than what you are in that moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It takes faith, right? So faith is a two-way street. It's I believe in you, but you got to believe in me. God, mm-hmm. you know, I believe in God, but I have to understand that God also is believing in me, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and that gives me the courage to risk mm-hmm. believing that I could be more than what I am right now in this moment. <laughs> I could begin to, to dream something. Not, not a whole lot now, hmm. right? <laughs> but I could begin to dream something. And then that dream needs a little infrastructure to it. Yeah? So you have to help that person to believe that they have a goal. Mm-hmm. Begin to name that goal. Mm-hmm. And then you have to help that person to understand the step-by-step process the, the sort of the, the strategic the, the strategic steps toward making it to that. And then the most important part, which is the most difficult part, is the discipline that it's gonna take. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what people go, oh mm-hmm. hands off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> but the believing piece keeps you there. Yep. Yeah. So that you begin to create the discipline. Yeah. And I'm not creating that discipline alone. I have you. You're believing in me, and you're giving me the strength that I need to develop the discipline. Because the Mm. discipline is the infrastructure 
that holds that becoming process. Mm -hmm. It has to hold it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it falls apart. Otherwise, it doesn't have anything to stand on. Mm -hmm. And it's that discipline that allows for the strategy so that you keep moving towards your goal. And before you know it, you have an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And then the believing moves to we keep believing because now we're celebrating. Mm -hmm. Right? So the believing is the relational piece that leads to the hope mm -hmm. and the risking. And then you have to begin to name those steps and go there. Otherwise, a dream doesn't become unless you create the pieces and you have then the disciplines that it takes to make it all the way through. And that's, you know, the becoming piece, but the believing piece stays with it all mm. the way along, mm. right? Mm -hmm.